Sometimes when you're animating, you might find that it's easier to uh, animate the object the way you want if you take advantage of having multiple pivot points. Well, you can only have one pivot point per object, but you can set up a rig that is the equivalent of multiple pivot points per object. Let's uh, use this ball as an example. If we wanted to animate this ball and give it multiple pivot points to work with, we could start off by setting the pivot point for this object. Now, by default, I've got this ball centered, and by default, the pivot point, if we come over to View, Pivot, we'll see that the pivot point is at the origin, so it's at the center of this ball. And we're going to leave that uh, where it's at, so I'll just click off of the Pivot tool. But I want the pivot point to be at the base of the object, but we'll start the base off at the origin. So I'm going to hit F3 for Rest on Ground. We'll use the default settings of Y and hit OK. So now the ball sits right on the origin in the Y. Okay? And we'll save this object and let's send it over to Layout. Okay, so now if we look at our object here, I'm going to actually move into the front view and we can see our ball and I can move it, of course. If I hit H I can stretch it down, and if you notice, it's stretching down uh, towards the origin because our pivot point is sitting right there at the origin, which uh, will come in handy for certain for certain key frames that we want to set, for certain key poses that we want to set. If I hit Y for rotate, it's going to rotate around that pivot. Okay. What if sometimes I want it to rotate around this pivot, but other times I want it to rotate around the center? of the, the ball. Well, we can set up a rig that gives us a, a few more options to work with. So I'm going to go back to perspective just so we can get a, a good view of what we're working on. And I'm going to add, uh, we're going to we're going to add two nulls. We're going to start by, well, if I hit H, we can see we can stretch from the, the bottom down. Well, what if I want to stretch from the top up? Okay, so we'll add a null. So null, we'll just call this top. Actually, so we don't get confused. Ball top. Okay. And we'll make it a box and we'll make it 0.25. Okay. And we'll move that up so that it sits right at the top of the ball. Let me uh, go into the back view and just slide it up just a bit. Okay. So we've got the top of our ball that we're going to use this as a pivot point. So I'm going to select the ball, M for motion options. I'm going to make sure that parent in place is active and I'm going to parent the ball to the ball top. Okay, so let's take a look at how this works. If I select the top here and hit H, I can stretch the ball from as if that were the pivot point. Y for rotate and I can rotate as if that was the pivot point but I still can come down here and rotate as if that was the pivot point and I can still stretch as if that were the pivot point. Okay, Let's add one more null and we'll go back to perspective just so we can see and null and we're going to call this ball master. This is going to move everything and we'll create Let's do, um, let's set it up as a ring and we'll make it, uh, we'll start off with one meter. We might size it down a little bit and we'll hit OK. And I am going to size it down some. Now, if you've already closed that window and you want to size it down, just hit P for properties. Come over to the geometry tab where it says item shape, double click. We can close this and I'm just going to size the ring down a bit. OK, that'll work. And I'm going to move back into the back view, T for move, and I'm just going to move it to the center of the ball. And that'll be our default setup there. Okay, so if I go back to perspective, we've got our rig. If I want to move the entire rig, uh, I'll come over to, to frame 10. I can just select the master mover. Okay, well, of course, it would help if I parented uh, the rig to it. So I'm going to select the top here. M for motion options, and I'm going to parent that to the master. Okay. And what we'll do is, if I take this ring here and move it around, the entire rig comes with it. 
Okay. If I Y for rotate, I can rotate from the center as if the pivot point were in the center. Okay. And I can actually just rotate all of it. Okay. Freely. If I use H for stretch, I can stretch it as if it's from the center. Okay. I can still stretch it as if it was from the top and stretch it as if it was from the bottom. So there you go. We've got multiple pivot points on one object that uh, really only has one pivot point, but with this rig, with this hierarchy, we've got uh, multiple pivot points for it.